into a little bit of trouble and uh, I was in a not a very good place mm -hmm. and uh, someone called uh, Chris who works here with the um, education facility uh, he's he's given me a helping hand over the last three or four months or so yep. he's taken me onto a football program he's been really really good with me he's, he's, he's given me more confidence I feel more self-belief in me I feel like you can do a lot more things yeah um, I'm, I'm a lot more happy with where I am. I've got, I've got better relationships with my friends and family now. Yeah. I've got everything's going in the right direction. Good. Yeah, so I started the apprenticeship and I'm just coming towards the end of it now, so I've done a year and oh, the pathway I've definitely chosen the right one is this industry is what I want to do. I have coaching nurseries with young kids, young kids yeah. primary schools, we do a development centre which is just football, yeah. oh, we do all sorts of work with disabled adults, disabled children, yeah. so I'm getting such a big understanding Sounds of great. all sorts, yeah, yeah. it's fantastic. smoke anywhere. So this level of football, the foundation, but also obviously the football club as well, is, is by far and away the best I've ever seen. It, 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 it really is amazing. The foundation have been celebrating their achievements after they revealed they now help over 8,000 people. 